In this video, we're going to cover how to easily create a Zapier integration from within Shape and within your Zapier. Keep in mind that you, this does require a Zapier premium account and, of course, a Shape software account with administrator access. So the first step always in creating a Zapier connection is to create a marketing source in your system. What this does is gives you an endpoint to send data to. So in your settings, under sales and marketing, you will find marketing sources. And depending on your industry, you may find some pre-made sources in the system ready to go. In this example, we'll go ahead and just add a new source. Set the channel type, depending on if it's, you know, pay-per-click, media, referrals, social media, etc. We'll pick pay-per-lead. And we're going to say Facebook ads. You can assign it to a drip campaign. In this case, we'll leave it off. And you can set the lead provider, price per lead, ad source cost. All this different information pulls into some of the pre-made reports in the system to let you know how much you know each source is costing you and the conversion rates for those. Once done, just click Save and Continue. And then give it a campaign name. This is going to be the name of the actual source in the system when you're signing it. So we'll call it New Lead Facebook. What record type do you want to post to? We're going to post to leads, but you can select applications or loans or referral partners, depending on where these need to land. And then hit save and continue one more time. Now we have everything we need in shape. Down below in this marketing source, we'll see our post posting instructions. So clicking the arrow will open it up in a lot more detail. And if the if you have a lead provider that's just asking for a posting URL, you can grab this posting URL here and send it over to them. Also hit view details on posting instructions to get a lot more detail and you can copy this and send it to them as well. So now that we have our posting URL, we'll hop over into Zapier and we'll just hit create zap. Now, in this case, we're looking to capture data from Facebook and put it into shape. So we will simply search for Facebook, say Facebook lead ads. We'll say new lead. This is where you will choose your Facebook account. It'll just redirect you to sign in if you haven't you know, connected that to Zapier yet. Hit continue, choose your page and your form. If you have multiple, we'll say it is education legion form. Then we're going to test our trigger. What this is going to do is Zapier is going to look for any data that's come in from that form and populate all the information that's being captured. If there's nothing here, just hop onto your page in the form that you connected and just send a test lead through should populate here for you. Once done, your trigger is set. Now we need to set our action step, which will be webhooks by Zapier. The event type will always be post. And when we click continue, it gives us all of this information. The first thing we want to do is put in our posting URL which again is found within the marketing source that we just created. And now we want to fill out our data. So what data are we capturing that we want to post into the system? It'll show everything that's being captured and you can simply click what you want. So let's say full name. And we'll go ahead and fill out the rest of this as well. So phone number. and email. So now we can take the data that Zapier is capturing and translate it into shape. And what that's how that's done is in your marketing source, you'll see a whole list of field names down below. And you want to copy the exact field name of where you want the data to go. So we are looking for lead full name. And all we do is copy 
field name, pop back into Zapier, and paste it into the data field. So now we're telling Zapier this needs to go into their full name in the system. So now we need phone number, which again, all we do is search for phone, and we'll put it in mobile phone, again, by copying and pasting. And now we need email, which is just email. Once we are done, we can simply click continue. The rest of this is not necessary for a basic zap. It'll ask us to test. We will click test. If everything is set up correctly, once the test is done, we will have a success message, which we do, and a lead ID, which we can go into, their, into our shape system and find. We hope this video helps. If you have any follow-up questions, email us at support at setshape.com and we'll be more than happy to assist further.